Are you preparing for a medical job interview and wondering what not to say? Well, you're in the right place. In the world of medicine, you not only need to showcase your skills and knowledge, but also demonstrate tact and diplomacy. A medical job interview is a high-stakes conversation where every word matters. You might have a stellar resume, but uttering the wrong phrases can potentially harm your chances of landing that dream job. Today, we're diving into a topic that is often overlooked. Things you should never say during a medical job interview. We will walk you through some phrases that, although may seem harmless, could raise red flags for your interviewer. The goal is to help you navigate this tricky terrain and make the best impression possible. So buckle up and get ready to learn the phrases you should never utter in a medical job interview. The first phrase to avoid is, I'm not really sure. Now, we all have moments of uncertainty and that's perfectly natural. However, expressing this uncertainty during a job interview, particularly in the medical field, could be detrimental to your chances of success. Why is that so? Well, consider the nature of the medical profession. It's a field where decisions can be a matter of life and death. Patients rely on their healthcare providers to make informed, confident decisions about their care. Therefore, as a potential candidate for a role in this field, it's crucial to project a confident, assured persona. When you say, I'm not really sure, it could raise a red flag for your interviewer. They might question your ability to make quick, confident decisions when the pressure is on. It may also make them question whether you've prepared adequately for the interview, or if you're genuinely interested in the role. Instead of expressing uncertainty, it's better to take a brief moment to gather your thoughts before delivering a well-considered response. If you're unsure about a particular question, try to frame it in a way that shows you're open to learning and growth. For instance, you could say, that's an interesting question. While I haven't encountered that specific situation before, I would approach it by, Remember, confidence is key, so always prepare your answers beforehand. Let's move on to the second phrase. I don't have any weaknesses. Now, this phrase might seem like a good answer to the classic interview question, what's your greatest weakness? But in reality, it's a red flag. It can come across as arrogant and untruthful, which are not qualities that medical professionals or anyone for that matter should aspire to possess. Everyone has weaknesses. It's a part of being human. In a field as critical as healthcare, acknowledging weaknesses is not only honest, but it's also essential for personal growth and patient safety. Pretending to be perfect doesn't fool anyone. Instead, it raises questions about your ability to self-evaluate, accept feedback, and improve. So instead of saying you don't have any weaknesses, it's much better to highlight one or two areas you're actively working on. For example, you might say, I've noticed I can be a little too detail-oriented at times which can slow me down, but I'm working on finding a balance between being thorough and being efficient. This shows not only self-awareness but also a commitment to bettering yourself, which is a quality that any employer, especially in the medical field, would value. So remember, it's not about being flawless, it's about recognizing where you can improve and taking steps to do so. After all, in the medical field, continuous learning and improvement are not just desirable, they're absolutely vital. Showing self-awareness and willingness to improve is more impressive than pretending to be perfect. Phrase number three to avoid is, I didn't really like my last job. Imagine you're sitting across from your potential employer, you're doing great, and then you drop this phrase. It's like a silent alarm, a red flag waving in the wind. Why? Because it immediately raises questions about your professionalism and attitude. Bad-mouthing a previous job or employer is a big no-no, not just in medical professions, but in any job interview scenario. It can give the impression that you're negative, difficult to work with, or even disloyal. These are traits that no employer, let alone those in the demanding medical field, would want in their team. But what if your last job was truly a challenge? What if you had a difficult boss or colleague or the work environment was less than ideal? Well, here's where the art of framing comes in. Instead of focusing on the negatives, you can say something like, my last job gave me the opportunity to develop resilience and adaptability, two traits I believe are crucial in the medical field. In this way, you're turning a potential negative into a positive. You're showing the interviewer that you can learn and grow from challenging situations, which is an invaluable trait in the high-pressure world of medicine. It's all about perspective. Even if your last job was tough, it undoubtedly provided you with experiences and skills that you can bring to your next role. Always focus on the positives from your past experiences, even if there were challenges. Our fourth phrase to avoid is, I don't have any questions. Now, this might seem harmless on the surface, right? 
you've done your research, you've prepared, and you think you've got it all covered. But hold on a minute. When you say, I don't have any questions, it can inadvertently suggest that you're not really interested in the job. Think about it from the interviewer's perspective. They've taken time out of their day to meet with you, to discuss the role, the organization, the team. They're looking for engagement, for someone who's keen to dive in and contribute. And when you don't have any questions, it can come across as though you're not particularly invested in the opportunity at hand. So, what should you do instead? Ask thoughtful, meaningful questions. This doesn't mean you should ask questions for the sake of asking. Instead, focus on the aspects of the job that genuinely intrigue you. Maybe you're curious about the team dynamics or the day-to-day -day responsibilities or the opportunities for professional development. These are all great areas to explore. Asking questions also gives you a chance to find out whether the role is a good fit for you. It's a two-way street after all. You're interviewing them just as much as they're interviewing you. So don't be shy ask away. Remember, asking questions shows your interest and eagerness to learn more about the job. The last phrase on our list is, it's on my resume. Now you might wonder why should I avoid this phrase, I put everything they need to know on my resume. While it's true that your resume serves as a fundamental blueprint of your qualifications and experience, uttering this phrase during an interview can send the wrong message. When you say, it's on my resume, it may come off as dismissive and even uncooperative. It can give the impression that you're unwilling to discuss your experiences further, or that you're irritated by the interviewer's questions. Remember, an interview isn't just a repetition of what's on your resume, it's much more than that. An interview is your chance to expand on your resume, to provide more context and detail. It's an opportunity to highlight your accomplishments, to discuss the challenges you've faced, and how you've overcome them. It's your moment to showcase your problem-solving skills, your adaptability, your leadership qualities, essentially your story, beyond the bullet points on your resume. So, instead of defaulting to, it's on my resume, take a deep breath and seize the opportunity. Use the question as a launchpad to delve deeper into your experiences, to highlight your achievements, and to demonstrate how you can bring value to the role. In conclusion, interviews are not just about what's written on your resume. They are about you as a person, your experiences, your skills, and your potential. Use the interview as an opportunity to elaborate on your resume, not to refer the interviewer back to it. Now that we've gone through the phrases to avoid, let's do a quick recap. We began with the phrase, I'm not really sure. This phrase undercuts your confidence and may give the impression that you're not fully prepared or knowledgeable. Instead, it's better to say something like, let me think about that for a moment, which shows that you're thoughtful and considerate in your responses. Next, we tackled the phrase, I don't have any weaknesses. This may come off as arrogant or lacking in self-awareness. A more productive approach is to share a weakness you've identified and how you're actively working to improve it. This demonstrates your ability to self-reflect and grow, which are crucial traits in the medical field. The third phrase to avoid is, I didn't really like my last job. Negativity about past experiences can be a red flag for potential employers. Instead, focus on what you've learned from your previous job and how it's prepared you for the role you're interviewing for. Our fourth phrase, I don't have any questions, sends the message that you're not genuinely interested in the opportunity or the organization. Remember, interviews are a two-way street. They're your chance to find out if the role and the organization are a good fit for you. So, always have a few thoughtful questions prepared. We wrapped up with the phrase, it's on my resume. This can come off as dismissive and uninterested. Instead, use the question as an opportunity to elaborate on your experiences and achievements and to show your enthusiasm for the role. In conclusion, the phrases you use in an interview play a crucial role in shaping the interviewer's perception of you. They can either showcase your strengths and enthusiasm or, if used inappropriately, can undermine your chances of landing the job. Remember, your words have a big impact on your interview, so choose them wisely and you'll be one step closer to acing your medical job interview. Good luck!